All right, let's talk about how I made this egg here. So as you saw from the little video, we have it in two sections and it's threaded. So the cool thing is you can 3D print this and then put some candy or a little like figurine or toy in here and uh, you know give them away and the kids will love them. Um, so there's some techniques here that I think are really useful and I'd like to show you them. What I'm gonna do here is uh, instead of doing the full like long step-by-step -step approach, I'm going to uh, just highlight a few techniques here that I uh, use that I think you'll find very useful. And then for the full tutorial, if you wanna watch this step-by-step um, -step approach to creating the egg and the threads, I'm gonna make that available to my Patreon subscribers along with the Fusion 360 file for this design that you can download. You can find the link to my Patreon page below. And as a Patreon subscriber, you'll also have access to my full tutorials for a bunch of my other projects. All right, so let's begin a new design here. And the first part I wanna talk about is just the approach of creating that egg shape. You may be tempted to, let's say, come in with a line first, uh, straight up. We'll do a 70 millimeter line there, just uh, sounds about the right size for an egg. And then you'll wanna grab your spline tool. And I think most of you will probably try to do something like this. Like, okay, I'm just gonna spline an egg here. You know, and then let's click that check mark. And then now you've got all these points and you're gonna maybe try to adjust them um, to give you an egg shape right and that can be a bit tedious it can be harder to try to get the shape down I'm gonna show you an easier way so let's just delete that um, we're still gonna grab our spline tool but we're just gonna make two points we'll go one at the bottom one at the top check take these spline handles the two so remember with the spline tool a less is always more I'm just gonna make both of these horizontal by using my horizontal constraint here one and the bottom one here and now all I have to do is just drag these to get my egg shape so just these two here and in fact you could even uh, dimension these so let's make for example the top I'm gonna make that eight and then the bottom I'll make this uh, let's go with 18 and there we have it, just a, an egg and two spline points. And now I can just simply hit finish sketch, create, revolve, boom, I have my egg. Okay, now to add the threads, I think another um, way most people would tackle this is to then go ahead and say, okay, maybe split this in half and then create a sketch and then maybe extrude it up and then do the same, you know, um, the opposite with the top and then add threads. Um, a lot of times when you have a design that can be revolved, you can do a lot of those features within that first sketch. So let me uh, delete that revolve tool, go back to that sketch. And the approach I took here is a lot more straightforward. So I'll make a rectangle, make this five by 20, and I'm just gonna use a midpoint constraint to put this right in the middle here. And let's draw a line going across, which allows me to separate the bottom profile here um, from the top here. So I can do one revolve with this, another revolve with the top. So, all right, so basically what I'll do there is just do a create revolve and then select these two here. And I've got my bottom and then I'm gonna repeat the top and then I'm just gonna make sure to make that a new body and there we have it so i've got a top portion there and a bottom portion here all right just to fast forward a bit i went ahead and extruded the bottom there to give me a little container in the bottom and then shelled the top to give me um, the hollow egg there and now what i'm going to do is just quickly show you the threads part so if you've never added threads in fusion 360 it's really really great tool here because it does everything for you create thread I'm going to select this profile here you want to make sure that you have model checked I'm going with a 40 millimeter um, size thread here and that designation is 40 by 3 click OK and I'm going to do the same thing with that top just right click repeat thread boom one click I have a threaded egg and the beautiful thing with this is check this out if I do a section analysis here 
you can see if I zoom in here that it's got a built-in clearance there. So you don't have to worry about adding an offset there. So there's actually space in between here that allows the thread to work perfectly. I actually simply printed this out and it worked great. I didn't have to come back and add an offset here to um, uh, give me that extra clearance. It's automatically built in and just after threading it a few times it actually worked quite smooth. So okay that's the quick rundown of how I approach the egg. So just a few things I wanted to highlight here. Um, recap spline tool less is more. You can actually create this egg shape with just two spline points instead of trying to create a bunch of different um, points there. And whenever you have an object that you're going to revolve, consider making all your features right in that sketch and create that revolve instead of going through multiple steps to build it up. And finally, threads. Threads are just beautiful with Fusion 360. It makes it so simple. And the ability to go ahead and just create this and then print it and have it work right away uh, is just amazing. All right, keeping this one short and sweet, guys. But like I said, if you want to see the full step-by-step -step tutorial, I got a much longer video showing each step and each tool that I used here. And I throw in some extra tips as well. Um, so if you want to take a look at that, check out my Patreon link. Actually, since Easter is this weekend, I'm going to post another video tomorrow showing you how I did the... Uh, text here because um, if you know anything with the emboss uh, tool you can't emboss on a complex surface like this but I'll show you some neat tricks that I use to be able to get this text to emboss on the surface here so make sure to come back for that one all right I'll see you in a bit